There is a title by Cryptozoic Entertainment that I would like to let you know about. Let's summon demons. <laughs> this two to six player game is good for ages 14 and up. What are little Johnny, Susie, and Fido supposed to do when the suburban droll has them down? I know. Let's summon demons. Whether you're building sadistic synergies with the rotten kids or sharing the love with the sweet kids, only the savviest and luckiest player, the best demon summoner, will walk away a winner. <laughs> well, that... That is short and sweet little description about the game. This is part of the Stephen Rhodes collection. They did a trilogy. It's actually a new trilogy. It's just coming out also as well. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about this game and why it caught my attention. Although this game is, uh, as the title says, about summoning demons, let's face it, this is a beautifully designed tongue-in-cheek concept that partly blends the Stephen Rhodes artwork with a sort of uh, like-minded game and system. You know, it matches up really great, perfectly almost. Aesthetically, I really love the way this game looks. The artwork is beautiful, and the, the game, the box itself, uh, kind of harkens back to me to an early uh, 80s uh, arcade, not an arcade game, like an early 80s home video game, like something in an Atari game, or Nintendo, or, no, not Nintendo, maybe Atari, or, or, or uh, Intellivision, or Vectrex game system uh, might come in a box that looks like this. And also, the artwork also kind of harkens back to some of the uh, early 80s, mid 80s, anti-D&D &D propaganda uh, comic strips and cartoons that were out at the time. And this beautifully uh, mimics those and pays them some great homage. Everyone seems to be talking about the fact that this is a great entry-level gateway game. Not just a gateway game, but a great entry-level game gateway game and it's a great way to teach people the basics of an engine building game and that's great to deliver onto a table because that's going to give you another option to bring newer players that are not used to this system into the fold so to speak into the cult <laughs> the quick and easy rules that this boasts and the fast setup time that it apparently has Coupled together with the fact that it, it, it has a small footprint on the gaming table really brings this whole thing together as something that's going to be quick, fast, and fun all rolled up into one with this really wacky, uh, tongue-in-cheek version of a theme that I, I know not everyone's going to dig, but I'm telling you, this, uh, the, this whole demon summoning stuff, it's as... Uh, it's kind of like Munsters or Adam's Family level kind of stuff. Just go with the flow of it and you're going to have some fun with this title. As I said, this is part of a series of games uh, by the artist uh, Stephen Rhodes. Uh, the other two in the, in the original uh, three trilogy uh, of games also include Don't Talk to Strangers, <laughs> the alien-themed game, and... Let's dig up treasure, a bit of a necrophilia game, <laughs> completely, uh, completely wacky, wacky themes that these are, and don't take them seriously, and you're going to enjoy them a lot more, and these are all the reasons why it's on my radar, and I really think I'm going to have a lot of fun, the 20 Side of Warriors are going to have a lot of fun uh, with this title. So I wanted to bring it to your attention. Please go out there, get some more information for yourself if you need, and make up your own mind on this. But for me, this is this is perfect for the shelf and table. <laughs> so go check out more information on Let's Summon Demons. <laughs>